I finally had the 6 by 6 by 16 foot base pole in the ground. I dug a hole, tried to go 5 feet, only made it 4 before I hit water. So I put gravel in the bottom of the hole. The whole pole is painted with this green copper coat, which is good for freshwater contact, which it definitely has in the bottom of the hole. And the 5 feet of the pole is painted with the Gardener wet or dry waterproofer. Um, I have a 5 8 bolt that I stuck in here for any purpose for lift and pulling. Maybe need to come along. You never know. Give something to hook to if I need to do something. I have the winch with the quarter inch cable. That quarter inch cable runs up over the top to the pulley assembly which is installed up there. See if we can zoom in on that. There's the cable assembly with the pulley. You'll see there's two brackets hanging there. Once I get the 4x6 up against the 6x6, those two arms will swing forward and I'm going to put a bolt with a roller in it. And that's going to be the upper guide for when that board moves up and down. The 4x6 slides up and down. The 4x6 itself will have its own floating guide in it. So this thing should track correctly up and down. And what I've done is I've got 30 or 40 pounds of load hanging on this thing just to try it. So in theory, when I get that 4x6 out here and I get it perpendicular, and then I'm going to hoist it up and get it parallel with this 6x6, all I'm going to have to do is crank on this winch. I'll take this thing all the way up to the right hand. And the winch has a brake. So I can either I can either crank it down or I can crank it up and it stops. So it's very good because I know when I go to put this up, I'm gonna have to hit all of these bolt holes. I don't know if I can see him because of the shadow. Let's come around here. I'm going to have to hit all the bolt holes with bolts and lining that up could be somewhat difficult. So right now, Dury's working. We'll have to see what happens when we get that pole up. And hopefully it doesn't twist and break and snap. We'll see. Let's lower this thing back down. go and also a nice thing about this is the handle comes off and if I had two if I had two hands the handle would come off. Alright so that's it. So far so good. Uh, the one thing that was different was when I drew it on paper it didn't look that tall and getting up there on the ladder eh that was a little spooky. Alright well hopefully the bat houses will be going up here in the very near future. And we'll make a video on that one.